Hey everybody, what's up? So welcome back to my channel. Guys, please remember if you are new to my channel and my message or my videos resonate with you, please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So I'm not gonna beat around the bush too much. Um, I got three rounds here. So a buddy of mine have bought reloaded ammo since ammunition has been very expensive lately. I'm only gonna take one apart. And the reason why I'm not gonna do the other two is because I'm gonna do a video call with my buddy and take the other two apart and show him something about the ammo. So whenever you buy reloaded ammo, keep in mind, pay attention to whoever the seller is, see what the reputation is, what the background is. Anybody can make bad ammo, including myself. So with that being said, guys, enough talking. I don't wanna bore people to death. So let's get going and I wanna show you what I'm gonna be doing. All right, guys. So the materials I'm gonna be using today is gonna be my scale. Let's take this off. I definitely want to have book only because I need to write down the information. So all I'm worried about right now is how much the projectile weighs and how much gunpowder we have inside the case. This is your bullet puller. If you've never seen one, I'm going to show you how to use it. And my Bible. So because I'm doing this for a buddy of mine on a Zoom call, or on a video call, I'm only gonna do one here, just one projectile for this video. The other two, I'm gonna leave it for my friend. First thing I wanna do, turn on my scale. There you go. See how it says zero? I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Then come over here to my bullet puller. Take this out. Okay, see this little piece right here? So. You are going to put your projectile like this, okay? You're going to sit it in here. Put the cap back on as such. And then you're just going to take the hammer and start banging it like this. Then enough hits the projectile will actually slide out of the case and i'll be able to grab the gunpowder and the projectile and get measurements on them so let's do this okay here we go so you can tell the projectile has left it's right there and so is that gunpowder i'm not worried about this right now So by placing the little cup and the gunpowder, I'm not worried about the weight of this right now. So we're gonna leave it as 21.1 grain for my amount of gunpowder for bullet one, 21.1, 21.2, 21.1. So whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm okay with this, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this little lid back. I'm gonna take the brass and I'm gonna just be careful and pour it back in. Okay. So I got my projectile right here. Now, it's very important that I know exactly how much this one weighs. The gunpowder, with a little bit of weight of this little tin, I'm not worried about. We should be around the same thing with all three, 21.1, 21.2. So I'm going to put this back in here. That's what I have in weight. Oh, it gave me zero. Okay, perfect. I'm going to take the projectile. Okay, so this one weighs 62.6. 
Now for this video, I'm gonna leave it like this because I'm gonna get off of it and then do a video call with my buddy. My first shit, my first bullet that I separated weighs 62.6 and I have 21.1 green in gunpowder. So my other two should be 62.6, 62.6, 21.1, 21.1. Now if it's off by 21.0 or 21.1 or 21.2, I'm okay with it. What I don't want to find is a 21.1 62.6 and then over here have 50.8 or 55 and then instead of having 21.1 having like 19.3 drastic changes is definitely what i'm worried about so my buddy did buy these reloads online if these check out the same i would probably tell my friend more than likely hey these pro all of your reloads more than likely are good uh if these three don't check out about the same then yeah we might have a problem so it'll be up to my buddy if he wants to shoot them or see if he wants to resell them or whatnot. Anyways, guys, this is going to be it for this video. I did want to thank you all for taking the time to drop by my channel and watching my stuff and being so kind to leave comments on my videos. Guys, I hope you all have a good evening and keep yourself safe out there.